What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Knock Knock. Oh, shit. I didn't realize... I thought... We were gonna get to this point in the next episode. That's... Terrifying looking. It was just another dream and now I'm back. new music now. There was scarcely any before. Oh, I don't like this at all. This... This is really bad. What is that line that comes across the screen when you zoom out? That's not a health bar, right? We already have stuff invading the house. Do we? Or am I just supposed to go out there? I don't really want to, but... My fears of going outside before were probably unfounded. Everything's quiet, no wolves around, only frogs and gnats. My fears of going outside were probably unfounded before. Now I feel really uncomfortable going out there. There are lots of books, all containing the same endlessly repetitive notes. I doubt they're useful. Everything that makes it my home is also in my head. I've been living here so long that we're the same thing now. That explains a lot. That explains a ton, actually, in a really simple way. I like that. No, what's gonna happen out here? What is my goal out here? Oh, please don't tell me this is a boss fight. Can't be that simple, can it? I guess so. Oh, shit. The further we get in... You would think the more answers we would get, but I'm only getting more confused. And a little bit more freaked out, step by step. It's coming after me in real life while I'm sleeping and playing here. I need to get ready quickly. Get ready. I have no time to waste on games or guests anymore. Anyhow, they only want to keep me inside. So these are games... I'll have to try twice as hard to avoid them. It's easy, I just need to stop thinking about them. So these games that kept popping up are the games that the Lodger has been playing? And he wrote about them in his journal. Wow. It's kind of coming together. I was going to say that the, more, the further I get into the game, the less things make sense, but... I wasn't expecting things to get wrapped up so neatly, actually. And the Lodger also talked about how they're going to be twice as hard to avoid now, or twice as come in twice as many numbers. What happened here? Something is telling me I shouldn't even try to uncover it. That just makes me curious. No, he's not going to be uncovering anything that happened to that room. Alright, we'll cut a nice swath through this middle floor here. This house is gigantic this time. Yeah, that's huge. Thank you for imagining this clock. However, I need to wind you forward a bunch. And then I need to be very, very careful. I do have something to hide behind. If the worst should happen. And I'll go up here. So at the start, I was going to say that if you rightfully skipped episode 4 and you went straight on to this one, a bit of an explanation about what happened with episode 4... I was testing out a new recording setup where I didn't quite test it out thoroughly enough. And what wound up happening was my game audio and my commentary audio wound up getting mixed into one track. Normally I have two separate tracks. One that I record in Audacity for the commentary. One that's just game sounds that's recorded alongside the video footage. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, something could come through either door and I'll be completely unprepared. Oh, no. Oh, what? Now we have Shadow Lodger? Is that gonna happen again if I come down here? I'm just gonna wait out and see if he comes back across the room. In the meantime, though... Yeah, that's normally not the way I record. I was testing a different setup because... I was hoping that it would allow me to, from now on, record, when I record uh, games on my PC, 
with headphones on because previously I've just been listening through my monitor's speakers because that's the only way I can get the game audio captured. It was your fear. But that hasn't really been the case. But I tried something new out and it kind of screwed my audio up for episode 4. So apologies about that. If you skipped episode 4, it was about 13 minutes. It didn't make that big of a difference. So that's at least something. Um, you know what? I want to actually try to go downstairs here because that gives me access to a bunch of different rooms. This seems like a little bit of a mistake, maybe. No. Let me just unbolt this real quick. Oh... Not sure what the right moves to be making are, but I hope I am making them wisely. <laughs> I hope I'm making the right moves wisely, as opposed to the wrong moves idiotically. When I'm near a ladder, I feel comfortable, even though it's it seems like a skeezy, unintended tactic almost to use the ladders the way I've been using them. To use the ladders as a route to escape just because you seem to be invulnerable while you're while you're traversing the ladders and there's even someone even left a comment about that that seems really easy to abuse oh no this seems like a... <laughs> what just happened what while I was zoomed out something came after me and I lost almost all my time Shit. Oh, shit. Well, I'm gonna make a lot of it up right here. Why? Not good. Really, really bad. Uh, that's. That probably means there's something directly above me, right? Okay, let's just wind the hands of time forward much as I possibly can. Yeah, that actually made up for most of the time I lost, to be honest. What am I going to uncover here? I want to see you. I don't want to play with you, you, creepy voice. Okay, so no, no matter which way something comes at me in this room, I'm covered. It's only when I step out that it gets a little bit dangerous. No. This is actually a really good series of halls for me. Because I can go any way and I have multiple ways out of here, including this ladder up here. So if I step into this room, I can go left or right and then there's a ladder on either side. And if I step out into this room, it's the same case. Yeah, just keep closing your eyes. Try not to fall asleep, Lodger. Try not to fall asleep. That's all I can really do for now. Okay, this... Hallway is not as great, but I can make do. You know what? I know that when the light returns, the horror will simply vanish. I'm going to leave that breach open. In fact, I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens, even though I'm kind of deep into this. I want to see what happens if I just let this go. Because I've been assuming up until now that it'll just spawn a mo- Oh! Shit! Shit! That scared the hell out of me. I don't know what that does. I've, I've been assuming up until now that if I leave the breach open... It'll just spawn a monster, which it seemed to do. It spawned a shadow me, but it didn't have any negative impact, as far as I can tell. What happens if I just leave it? I'm not losing time, I'm not going insane, as far as I can tell. It is creeping me out quite a lot, though. Oh, I'm running from him. Run, run, run. Oh, he went... He just vanished. Okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I don't want to lose time closing a breach that doesn't need to be closed. Where did the monster go? Just the monster goes away under the light of day. This is how to play the game. Why are you still playing these games, man? They are only visible in the dark.
First, you turn off the light in your home and open all the doors. As soon as one of the doors slams shut, close your eyes and say, I'm glad to see you. Thanks for coming. If you did everything correctly for a second, you will see a fully set table with a round loaf of bread in the center. At the table, there will be people staring back at you. Remember their faces. Recall their voices. These are the invisibles that you brought to live in your home. Is that what's going on here? No, these are just his games, right? That can't be it. You know, with this map going in a spiral, there's actually a lot more going on here than I thought. Or a lot more left. Oh, you. That... Ugh, that freaked me out. Okay, let's go downstairs real quick. We'll figure out what to do from here. Look at these little flashes of light I'm seeing. There, I don't think there's been a point in this game where I've ever felt completely comfortable. Like, there are times where I feel more secure than other times, or I feel like I have options or something, but I, there's always that lingering dread in the back of my mind just gnawing away at my brain. And that is exactly what I want out of horror. I didn't expect to get that kind of horror out of this art style either. What do you want? What? Is there something wrong with me? Yeah, the, the art style of this, I kind of thought that it was going to be a lot lighter in tone. Oh shit. Why did the lights go out? I can't see that... horrific looking thing in the background. That demonic... monster. Hey! I see a tumbleweed back there. No. Is it just me, or are there more features in the environment now? I wonder if how fast you find your house actually has an effect on something. There are totally more features in the environment now. I wonder what happens if I trigger him. Because I don't have time to lose. These little tendrils that are kind of creating a vignette around the edge of my screen. Are there more of them now? Now that I passed through the box, mannequin, demon... I, don't, I wish I knew monster names for this. Wonder how... That's... Because that's really the question I have not been asking myself, is how do my actions out here actually impact anything? I wonder if that has an impact. Well, if I'm going to find out at all, it'll probably be sometime this level. More and more symbols popping up along this map. I can't really decipher too well. Okay, this again. I have nightmares constantly. The same dream haunts me every night. A dream where I lose something or someone. Every time I forget the dream, the moment I wake up. Thank God. You know that kind of looks like? Right behind the bed, you can barely see the outline. Kind of looks like Prismo. Prismo to show up and bring me awesome pickles. Wait, the monster's not here at night. He's only there during those... During the segments prior to this. Holy shit, it's Alessa's room. I probably shouldn't go too much into that. <laughs> Given that I don't know if this will be up before or after the Silent Hill finale, which I just got done recording. Ooh. That's ominous, and that doesn't give me... If I go too far up, I don't get a whole lot of escape routes, except I am always near a ladder. What was that in the corner? What the f... What was that? A child? Could there have been a child here? I can't recall. No, I can't remember anymore. I'm always forgetting things. 
babysitter. Oh, man. I really hope that the direction this takes is not the exact same plot and twist that I'm using for my National Novel Writing Month story, because I'll get really upset. I changed it halfway through, and it wound up being more inspired by this game and Silent Hill 4 The Room, and now if the plot twist takes the same... Uh, if the twist is the same from the woods of my house is the same as this game, it's going to be really upsetting. I guess that's not too worth talking about, though, since I can't very well spoil that. Even though I severely doubt any of you will ever get the chance to read that. Maybe. Maybe. Because I am... After National Novel Writing Month is over, I am planning on cleaning that up and actually publishing it. To give you guys a little tease, it's about lucid nightmares. Think lucid dreaming mixed with Silent Hill for the room and knock knock. What the... Go down. I don't want to deal with the gurney. I want to deal with the gurney. I don't even know if that has any kind of maniacal, diabolical, special properties, but I just don't want anything to do with it. I'm getting more and more comfortable not closing the breach. Shit, am I got myself trapped? I have. Well, this is gonna suck. I should have started trying to open this door sooner. <laughs> what did that do? What? That's just gonna send me back to the beginning. Oh, hell. I think I'm actually gonna fast forward to where I was just to save time because these sections tend to be pretty repetitive. So I'll see you guys in probably about five minutes. That's about where I was, right? I hear crying. The hell is that coming from? I don't like this. Or is it laughing? I can't tell if that's crying or laughter. Uh, that would be coming from the top floor. The shadow I'm projecting onto a wall kind of looks like a giant hand. No, not round. Is he talking about the bread? These aren't my words, these aren't my thoughts, and this has nothing to do with the sleepwalking. Whatever it is, it's flesh and blood. Someone else is inside my house. Glad we sorted through that little bit of mental baggage. Okay. Gonna be here when I turn the lights on. Nothing, actually. Come on, imagine a clock. Now it's the same comically oversized gramophone as before. Oh, hey, clock! Yeah, you know what I wanted. Lodger? I keep wanting to call him kid. The art style makes it hard to place his age. I mean, he's out here living on his own, he's talking about collecting soil samples and analyzing things from the environment. So it seems like he's pretty independent and, you know, self-sufficient living on his own, so that makes it seem like he's an adult. But he looks like a kid. Oh, wait, there's something I can do up here. But what? I just hope one of those gurneys doesn't come rolling through the wall at me. I hear squeaking wheels, though, so that's probably n an indicator that that is what's coming after me. Yes, thank you, and I'm in between two ladders, so that's about as comfortable as I can feel. There's something all the way at the top of the house, but that's not too big of a deal, since I found my good friend a clock. The important thing is, if I go into this room, I'm not trapped. Oh, 
Oh, and the thing that... That comment... I'm sorry, I don't remember who made the comment. The thing that makes the ladder so abusable, aside from the fact that you're invincible once you start the climbing animation, is you can... You're not stuck climbing up or down, so you can just keep going up or down. That's what makes it extra abusable. Oh, I hope nothing comes at me while I'm fixing this, because I can't see. Nope, go to hell. I will just wait. You know what? I'm not even going to go back down there, actually. Oh, no. What? Why did I just lose half my time? Oh, that's horse shit. This again. Half of that white bar is now gone. Is that my sanity? I what is that? This isn't good. I'm not liking this. These sections kind of puzzle me a little bit. Nope. Don't want anything to do with you. Don't want any trouble. I'm just gonna walk my ass in the other direction. I haven't a slight clue what I should be doing right now. Let's try it out. Try it out. Are those the same rotten leaf mannequins from before? Uh oh. What do I do about this? Unless I can just walk straight through them with impunity. Yeah, I can. There's nothing to be afraid of. What about you? I guess test it out. So there's nothing to be afraid of down here? I guess the door hanging ajar is the one to go into. Now what? Am I starting the level again from the beginning? I don't know. Yeah. I can't figure out what that's all about. Because I just lost half my sand. I just lost half my time all of a sudden. Time for my nightly rounds. I need to go through the house to make sure everything is in its rightful place. I just, out of the blue, lost half of my time, and then the next door I went through took me to that section, so... I feel like that was probably supposed to happen, but... I don't know. I am, once again, more confused. And now I've been so focused on just trying to figure- Oh, damn it. Really? At least it's not that much of a penalty. Hallucinations are due to lack of sleep. I can't catch up on sleep due to my nightly rounds. And I'm so focused on just trying to figure out how things work in the game so far that not getting a real opportunity to dedicate in any kind of mental power towards figuring out what the story of this is and what the symbol what the symbolism is. That's hide and seek. It's not just a game. It's a way of life. It's a way of life. No matter where or how you hide, time will always run backwards because... Yeah, it's pretty typical that my first playthrough of an Ice Pick Lodge game um, is pretty bereft of any kind of real story analysis or anything because their games give you a lot to dig into and I should not be here because I have no escape route. So, wow, this... this house sucks. There's nothing good about this. At least not this floor. Anything? Nah. Okay, we'll go down here. That's fine. Then I'll slowly work my way further downstairs, I think. Oh, it's right in the next room. Let's see what we're dealing with in here. Actually, before I turn that light on... Okay, there's nothing in here... Ah! That's gonna mess with me. I was gonna say... 
Wait, how am I getting into the lower part of the house? Because it's not this way. Oh no, there's a door that I wasn't seeing because the light wasn't on. Yeah, my playthroughs of Ice Pick Lodge games the first time tend to be a little bit light on analysis because just as interesting as the story in their games is figuring out how the mechanics work, what the gameplay is all about. Oh god, what do I do about that? My sanity gonna... The handprints. Oh, the invisible people. Or the invisible ones. Oh, shit. Did I just walk into the, into the breach? Is that what happened? Oh, please don't send me back to the start again. Okay. Yeah, through the looking glass. Is that what happened now? That's what happens if you don't close the breaches. So yeah, it's totally going to send me back to the beginning of the level. At least I understand this now. So we're going to start back from the beginning of this level once again. But might get back to where I was and then resume the next episode from there, just so I'm not wasting time, I just realized it's the invisible one who walks around while I'm asleep. He's the one who's taking my diary and tearing the pages out. I thought that he might be real and he did appear, or is it time itself? Time is killing me while I sleep and I'm watching it happen in my dreams. That makes sense to me. Wait, is that white streak across the top? my life bar and it's slowly running out every time I fail a sequence um I'm gonna have to come to these answers in the next episode thanks for watching everyone take it easy have a good one